Welcome back, everyone. This is now the nine-month update of our 41-way ceramic coatings and sealants longevity test. As usual, we'll foam it down using Chemical Guy's Honeydew Snow Foam. Rinse it, foam it again, wash it, rinse, and then, of course, inspect the hydrophobic properties before we dry everything off. This hood sits outside of our shop here in East Texas 24 hours a day, seven days a week, exposed to the elements, and, of course, we'll wash it and inspect it once a month until the last one fails. The hood does get rotated 90 degrees or 180 degrees after each update. The last 30 days weather is on your screen and as you can see as I'm recording this right now the beginning of February we did have a little bit of ice, sleet, and snow here. Also check out my awesome spreadsheets in the video description to find out more about these products. As always everything that's used for the wash as well as the equipment I use, more info about the products, everything's in the video description. Jumping right into it, NG NTDS gel. We're gonna call that failed here at the nine month mark. Sea foam fast finish seven days. Sea quartz finest and professional. Professional has always seemed a little bit more hydrophobic than reserve as it wears on, but they're both still hanging in there. You can see definitely more hydrophobic with Sea quartz professional. These are both 2021 bottles as well. Fortador, that's the Lamborghini coating. Failed in seven days. Apex Rehydra Bead, 120 days. And DPC T3 and T9. Both of those are performing very well. Apex Metal Oxide Coating by Art to Shine. Also looks like it's doing well. Not quite as hydrophobic as the DPC right next to it, but still performing very well. Extreme Solutions Poly Seal that lasted 30 days. And Nano Skin Ultra. It's been it's been kind of off and on how it's been wearing, but we'll keep it weak here at the nine month mark. You can see it holds and then and then lets the water off, but not quite there. Um, Nano Skin T3 still looks like it's hanging in there. And the Nano Skin Ceramic Sealant lasted about 30 days. NGNT Pro 1K starting to show some wear, but it's still hanging in there. Pro 1K Plus still very hydrophobic. That's a company from Switzerland that are, they're entering the U.S. market soon, is what they had said. Meguiar's 3-in-1 was about 30 days. Avalon King still doing all right. It's hanging in there. Nano Age, Nano Bond, and Warijin along with Avalon King. All of those are very similar products, believe the same manufacturer, and they're all performing very well. Nano Age, Nano Bond, that one, I've tested that several different times, and it's always been a very strong performer, especially for the price point. It's about $20. Uh, Gion Can Coat, starting to show a little bit of signs of weakness, but not quite yet to where we would call it weak. It's getting pretty close to that point though. Drive Auto Nano, they're from Dallas, Texas. Looks like it's starting to show a little wear, but again, not to where we would call it weak. And then big impressive product for me, Meguiar's Hybrid Paint Coating, especially now if they've cut the price of that in half. It was $60, you can find it for around $30 now. New Finish Ceramic Coating, they now have a graphene version, which I will be testing. It's barely hanging in there. Underdog Sauce Pro looks like it's doing all right. That's a PTFE based product, so Teflon based. And Glossit 10H and 5H. You can see that, you know, there's a little wear on those as well, but also performing just fine. And again, I do apologize for using a silver hood. I, I learned my lesson with this test, so I had to edit this in post to increase the saturation, mess with the tint, so it'll show up better for you. NGNT Pro 2K, still very hydrophobic, and then their flagship version 3K, also extremely hydrophobic. 
I'm really curious to see what that product is going to be as they enter the US market. I said what they were, they told me was it's a product from Switzerland and it's, they're entering the US market, but it won't be called NGNT. Griot's three in one starting to, can, well, it's continuing to be weak about the nine month mark. So in my other test, it lasted about a year. It looks like it's in line for about that on this too. G Technic Ultra, professional only coating, not topped with anything. Looking good. IGL Premier, it's a sealant. Looks good. Owner's Pride, Tech 580, and Speedwipe, the next three. Those are all made by the same manufacturer. And Speedwipe looks like it's not quite doing as well as the other two, but they are still hanging in there. Again, not to where we'd call them weak. Out of the three, it looks like Tech 580 is performing the best though. Lone Star Ceramic Pre-Production. That's borderline to where we would want to call that weak or not. It's getting really close. It's not, not extremely hydrophobic anymore at all. And IGL Easy Graphene. That is, I believe it's supposed to be rated for one year. Looks like it's still hanging in there. Eelho 12H Graphene. I believe that is a $2 product from AliExpress. And it had failed within seven days. Chemical Guys Hydra Slick lasted less than 30 days. Chemical Guys Hydra Charge lasted less than 60 days. And their Chemical Guys Carbon Force Ceramic Coating, it has been acting like this since about the four month mark. You can see that it's it lost its hydrophobics. It's, it's really high hydrophobics pretty early on. And then Ammo Reflex Pro, it's been acting like this since 30 days. So it's sort of sheeting instead of beating. And I'm not sure that particular product is designed for sheeting. I think he has another product that's specifically for sheeting. So you'll have to correct me if I'm wrong because I am i don't know enough about that product to speak on it. So there is your update guys. We're at the nine month mark. You can see that everything's starting to wear as, it, as expected. We get to the one year mark. We'll kind of take a more in-depth look at everything. So thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.